Welcome back to Get Serial TV. In the studio with me now, I have a very special person who's tried to help a lot of people. Whether he's actually done that helping, we'll try to find out. Now, uh, in the studio right now, Munro Smith. Hello, Munro Smith. Thanks for having me on the program, Beck. It's great to be here. Now, you do you lead this organisation or...? Well, the organisation yeah. uh, you're referring to there yes. in a sort of a roundabout fashion is uh, Sev Murb. Uh, yes, the State Emergency Volunteer Musical Retrospective Brigade. Uh, yes, and I am, I am actually their unofficial leader, me and Eric. I, of, of me and Eric, I am quite definitely the leader out of those two people. Now, yes. what, now what does this organisation entail? Well, I mean, it's all there really in the name, State Emergency Volunteer Musical Retrospective Brigade. So if there is a state emergency, we're a brigade of volunteers who will go out to the site of the emergency and basically improvise a musical comedy retrospective of the event in all its hideous glory. Okay, now, is this, why do you do this? Is there any rhyme or reason? Well, there's a lot of rhyme. Uh, yes, and there is a reason. The reason is that we, we do it to, uh, to help people to move on. Like, we at Sev Merb say that, uh, you know, you're not really healing until you're laughing, you know? And, and we think, as well, that it's never too soon to start that process, you know? We, we try to get there as soon as possible after the event. And in fact, sometimes we're there during a natural disaster. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's great what we do because it allows people who, who might actually be, you know, being crushed by, by boulders, be fair, at the time, to, you know, have a little bit of a sing-along and already start the healing process. Not the physical healing process, obviously, because they're, you know, they're quite badly injured physically sometimes, but mentally. Is it sometimes difficult to perform around these atrocities? Look, I'll tell you, the thing that makes it difficult is the people, you know, because, oh. look, nine times out of ten, we get a great response, you know, and, and, and the victims or survivors, if there are any, are really positive and they, they, they get in and they'll chuck in a rhyme, they'll start singing, they'll do a little bit of backup, maybe a dance if they can move, uh, and, and, and that's great. But then, you know, you know one, one, every now and then you get a sad sack who's just not getting into the mood, a bit of a downer, um, probably more focused on the physical pain rather than the emotional pain, which we think is so important. You know, you've got to get in, you've got to have a laugh, you've got to have a sing, you've got to heal. Do you have any way to get those people involved or do you just...? Um, look, I mean, you, you, you can keep trying with these people and they're just not going not gonna to take part. So we, we, we don't, you know, we're volunteers. Uh, we go to a huge amount of effort. You know, we drive, I, I sometimes drive for up to 45 minutes, you know, to get to a natural disaster. And often these are in very remote locations. I don't think people understand that how hard it is. Uh, you know, and we are volunteers, we don't get paid for this. I don't even get a fuel allowance. You know, but we're out there, we're putting in the time, and the least they can do is, is make a little bit of effort, that's all I'm, you know. So how exactly do you find these? But you say they're in remote locations. How do you know when these disasters are occurring? Uh, we hack into police uh, radio signals. Yeah, um, you know, it, it does, it sometimes, it sometimes interferes. There has been some issues with it interfering, us interfering with their signals and maybe the message not getting through to the ambulance or whatever. But uh, the important thing is that we're there, you know, mm. and uh, we're on the scene first, before even the paramedics a lot of the time. Yeah. Because you do have very interesting uniforms too, don't we, you? We do. Um, it's very closely modelled on the paramedic uniform. Uh, and it's kind of unfortunate. A lot of people will mistake us for paramedics and we'll be there. I'll be in the middle of like maybe a, a seven minute dance number and someone will ask me to, you know, sit, set their broken leg or something. I, I, and that's not me. You know, I, I, I'm, I don't have any formal qualification. I've got a bronze swimming certificate and that's probably about as high as it goes. So if your dog is stuck in, say, knee deep water, I'll be able to wade out and rescue him. But I don't, you know, I shouldn't have to get my hands dirty. And it's a risk as well, you know trying to heal these people. And I could, I could get myself hurt. Well, ab about that risk. So you, you hack into police scanners, mm. you dress as paramedics. Yeah, well... Have you ever been caught up with the law? No, we try and avoid the law. Ah. We, 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 we fly pretty much below the law. There's been a couple of issues. They've almost got me a couple of times, but now I'm pretty nimble. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, it is. Now, look, 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 what I'd like to do is I'd like to leave you with a song. Oh, yes. If I could. Um, well, the way I'm trained, like I am highly trained in, in emergency volunteer musical retrospective brigading. And uh, I am sort of, I'm finally tuned to the point where if you give me any natural, any of up to 700 different natural disasters, I can just instantly provide you with a rhyme 
for that natural disaster. Okay, so if you want to hit me, just give me a natural disaster and I'll, I'll come up with a rhyme for it. Uh, okay. Volcano eruption. Okay, actually there's no rhyme for volcano eruption. That's one we can't do. But, you know, I'd probably just do a dance number for that. But if you give me, try again, another one. Tsunami. Okay, again, nothing actually rhymes with tsunami. You can get a half rhyme with pastrami, but it's very difficult to make that flow in a song, um, especially in a tsunami type situation. So if you just give me, just, just, just go one more, one more, come on. Earthquake. Earthquake, excellent. Okay, okay. Oh, you got your shake, flake, bake, cake, mistake, uh, winter lake, um, rake, and uh, corn snake. So look, look, I mean, I could, I could go on and on. Um, and look, what I'll do is I'll just put together a little song for you there uh, to go to the break on, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, that's fine. Quakey, shaky, and your bones are breaky, and you something, 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 something into a lakey. Oh, you start crying out like holy moly, and your son's crushed brains look like guacamole. 